Hello, it's Adam here, and today I'm going to be breaking down my 31 move PR, fewest move single, which was kind of insane for me. It's a 7 move new best, I had 38 before, pretty crazy. Also got a sub 40 mean with it, with a 47 in it, uh, just because the 31 carried me. And I'm going to show you the 31, because that's obviously the highlight. Uh, and I highly doubt I'll ever beat it, so you know, this is like my PR single forever, as far as I'm concerned. So, uh, when you look at the scramble, the only thing that really stuck out to me was this pair, so it was the first thing I tried. Uh, there's no other there's no other joined up pairs on the keyboard right now, uh, in the scramble. So, the thing you want to do here is to make a square, so you either want the blue-yellow edge or the yellow-orange edge here to, to join up with it. And the orange yellow is in an awkward spot here because it's kind of joined to the pair, but the wrong way around. Uh, but the, the blue yellow is good. So, first, I do this to join it up with the blue. And then I do this and this to join the two things up the pair and the edge on the center. And that's really nice. And I realized since I've moved the pair out of the way, this edge is no longer awkward. So I do this to move out of the way of the yellow side, move the edge into the yellow side, solve the edge, and then it's just a double move here to solve this whole 2x2x2, two by two by two, and I've done that in 7 moves, which is really nice. Okay, so at this point, I have my 2x2x2, two by two by two. I need to now add an edge and pair onto it to make a 3x2x2, three by two by two. and the obvious thing I saw uh, there's actually a couple of free pairs, but this one has no relation to the colors I've built the square on. So I want to use this one because it's a, a blue cross pair, right? And it's it's related edge or one of its related edges is right here, which is really good. So first I join this edge up to its white side. And then I move it this way, the wrong way, because that's the way the pair joins up to it. And then do that. And now I've got this square that's one move away. And so I was actually, <laughs> I was panicking about this bit in the solve for like half an hour because if you do this now, this continuation is one of the worst things I've ever seen. It's really, really bad. So just to avoid that, I ended up doing, uh, what was it? I think I just did, like U R U prime, if we're looking at white green. So I just did uh, a move in the middle uh, of my U2 on a layer that doesn't uh, affect anything. So that adds two moves, but it makes the continuation far better. Well, it's still not great, um, but we'll see how I dealt with that in a second. Okay, so at this point, I already have my 3x2x2 two by two on blue and orange. Um, and so obviously the next step, uh, F2 on minus one, I want to get to add another edge and another pair. And I could either do that on orange or blue, an orange has an edge one move away, but both of its pairs are really bad. So I was going to do blue. And its edges in an awkward spot too. But this is the best thing I found. Uh, trust me, it works out in the end. Um, but I ended up not really doing F2 on minus 1 and just doing a keyhole solution for this pair. Like this. And obviously I haven't done F2 on minus 1 yet. But for me, FMC, um, <laughs> the way I do it, which is why it always takes me the full hour, is I just try a bunch of stuff until I find something that works. Um, which often I don't find something that works and I just scribble down like a 50. But in this case it paid off just trying random stuff and you'll see why. And here is the only time the solve I actually scramble switched the inverse. So this is uh, the point I'd gotten to but on the inverse. So I've still got this this 3 by 3 by 2 blue orange with the one pair on blue with this edge not solved. But instead of this edge being here, it's on here on the inverse, which is why I switched. Uh, and the continuation is much better. And so this edge from here is actually a 4 mover. So you do 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. And really luckily, that joins up this free pair. So the obvious thing was like, oh wow, that's a 3 move pair, I should do the 3 mover. Wrong, because this is horrible. Uh, this is already a bad old little case. Um, and if you do that case, you get an EPUM. <laughs> so that's like really, really bad last layer case. 
Um, there's probably other algs you could use for a right, but I don't know them. Uh, this lefty version of this alg. I guess you can mirror the right one. I didn't think of that, but anyway, I, I don't know how to do that case well. I tried sledging the pair in. Uh, also a pretty bad case, as far as I remember. But for some reason, <laughs> right, if you move the pair here, and then move the slot up and insert it, you get this case, the T-shape, and if you do this case from the left side, you get a VLL skip, funnily enough. And if we look at this start of the last part again, last lot and last layer, um, you'll see that th the reason I even tried it from the left is because it cancels two moves as well. So if you start this right, and you see at this point, we're already one move into the case. We don't need to do this final F to solve the cross because we do an F prime to start the case. So that cancels two moves as well. And then you finish with the AUF, which is an F move from white green. And that gives you 31 moves if you count it all up, which is very cool. I could not have asked for a better last lot, last layer case, really. I'm glad I even tried it because I was uh, panicking quite hard because I had like five, ten minutes left, right? And I almost didn't find that. And I would have got like a 45 or something. So, uh, really cool stuff. Very happy with that. And this is the original scramble again, just to quickly demonstrate that it's 31 moves. So, first, without rotations, I wrote this down. You do all the moves on the normal, so this I've started with my 2x2x2 two by two by two. and then this and then my weird little keyhole thing for this um, and then you do the inverse of all the stuff in the inverse, starting with the AUF move and then it would be DD prime, but obviously that cancels. Oh, <laughs> did the wrong move there, but you can see that. And that's 31 moves, and uh, I'll put that in the description as well, just so you can see what I was doing. And um, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.